Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. After a long time and a lot of requests, I finally decided to make a video about how I tune my drift cards. I will also will make a video about my racing tunes, um, but that will be for later. So now I'm gonna focus on drift cars. I made a video also about the settings for the wheel. Um, apparently it's a very good setting, so definitely watch out that video. Now I'm gonna talk about the parts. I'm just gonna take this car. This is a random car I took. All-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive tuning. So as you can see, I will go to the festival and we will put parts on to start with the tuning. Now you have several uh, kind of tunings. Either just to like cruise around and have fun with drifting. You have basically also tunes for drift zones and for online drift adventure. Now, if you want to do online drift, drift adventure, you need to stay in a certain class. Uh, there are good cars that you can use, but I'm not gonna go into that for now. I'm going to, I'm gonna make this car a all wheel drive and I have another car that is real wheel drive. So let's have a look first at the parts of the car. These are actually important. So as you can see, for the power, the stock, you can keep it stock. My real drive is a stock engine, but I will take another engine for this. The 2.6 is not good uh, for drift. So we take the 6.2 V8 because uh, it has a lot of torque. We will go on all wheel drive, uh, especially if you can't drift very good. It's always good to have an all wheel drive car. Then you can decide, do you want a twin turbo or a supercharger? Um, well, I basically always take the turbo. Then let's go to these parts here. The drivetrain, always put these parts on. Racing transmission, you need to put on every car, uh, no matter what. Brakes, you gotta have good brakes. Now here you can say, I actually take a lot the rally suspension, but I'm just gonna take the drift suspension for now. It's basically just the numbers that change. This one also, anti-roll bars, very important. Roll cage is not really necessary. Um, and then we make the car lighter. Then for the tires, just keep stock tires. You don't need this, 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 this. Although it depends what you wanna do, but we will keep the stock tires. You will see why. This one you can leave or just put one um, bigger, wider, because it has more grip. And this one, the best one. Now here, it's not really necessary, but you can do it. It also gives a little bit more grip on the car. So that are the tires. Then let's just make the car pretty. Now I have to say, um, if the car, if you want to go on high speeds, you really need a wing like that, so you even have more grip. But that's for actually like high speed drifting. That's always good to have that. But you don't need this on this. You don't need that on this car. Then let's go. It's not for drift adventure, so let's put all the parts on it. The more power, the more fun. Let's put a bigger turbo on. Well, it's not necessary these parts, um, but we can do it. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, we have an S2 car now. Uh, it's fully upgraded. So we're gonna install this, yes. Now, let's have a look. What I always do is I have my um, drift zone that I always use to test out my drifts. So let's take that, of course it's dark, but that doesn't matter. So at City Suburbs, why do I take this? Because you actually need to go pretty fast in here, you have the corner, here you need to break, and here you have a very long corner. So let's have a look for the fine tuning of the car. So basically now we have all parts on. What does a car do? So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. 
The car is a little bit uh, not easy to drift. You also see that the backhand doesn't want to come out. So let's go back to the beginning and do some fine tuning of the car. This is actually very important. There you go. Now here, what do you need for drifting? Your front tires need to have grip. So basically our goal is around 1.6. The back tires, while well, we don't have real drift flat tires or whatever they use in real life. So I put to begin with at 2.2 uh, pressure. The gearing, mostly you only have to change this. Uh, for let's say we're gonna put it on 390. It can be that the fourth gear or fifth gear also has to be shorter so we have more acceleration but we will see that what the car does then here this all looks nice stock but i do prefer at the front have more grip so i'm gonna lower this to start with um this is the back let's put it like this and see now this angle it depends if you drive with a wheel you need to keep this on seven if you drive with a pet, you can go to zero. I'll leave it for seven at this point. The anti-roll bars, that's understeering, oversteering. I will leave that, but if you do the rear all to the right, way more to the right, you will see that the car um, also changes. The springs, we're not going to move that yet because we need it tested. The damping, also not necessary arrow. That depends if you have the wing or not. The brakes. Well, I like to have my front tires to have good brakes, so I put it on a little bit more on the front. And because I drift without ABS on, I put it 160% pressure. Then here, the acceleration. What does this mean? So basically, if you put this on 100% and this on 0%, the car will also turn better. If you put it on this, the car will turn less. So basically put your sliders like this and then here the balance of the power on the wheels 65% it really depends on the car that you take some cars are actually already going very well and drifting on, on 65% but let's go to 70% this will mean that the back end will break have more power and break out a little bit more. Now let's have a look how the car reacts. Um, first of all, I will show you the settings I actually drift with and drive with. I never change that. So ABS is off, a simulation. If you have a wheel, go on normal. Traction control, stability, everything off. Shifting, manual. If you really want, you can go to clutch. I don't use it. Um, I get, I am in the 1% of every drift zone. With manual, so it's not necessary. Driving line uh, that's still on, damage off. But these are important. So let's have a look now what the car does. Sadly, it's dark. So as you can see, the car already keeps in a drift without doing much. I press the handbrake now. You see that the power on fourth gear is not really good. Now I could have shifted back, but this is just still a test. And here the car does it have enough power on fourth gear? It has, and you can actually do it. So I just had to go back in fourth gear. Now I have 177,000 points. I know I do have um 200 almost 214,000. Uh, i don't know which car which car uh the bmw is set up yeah okay now as you can see this car has also raining this car can do the drift zone of course you can fine tune it better uh, towards what you like but let's go quickly to the roundabouts The car is sliding a little bit more because it's raining. But as you can see, I don't need to put much effort in to actually drift. Now here the road is a little bit different. Um, 
so you see the drifting is very easy now let's say i want to have a little bit more that the car breaks out then let's put it on 74 percent you will see that the car will slide more in the back so i'll put it in a drift i'll just tap uh, handbrake you see the car basically almost drifts by itself let's go to the other roundabouts that will be easier to show Turn around when it is safe to do so. there you go i'm not moving much with my controller as you can see the car goes fast enough here you wrap a little bit oh there we go let's go back to it to it so basically 74 percent is actually a very nice percentage you just need to steer a tiny bit and for the rest i'm not doing much so as you can see the tuning is very easy now if you want to do a, a little bit of gearing always do the final drive give the car always more um acceleration and it also depends if you drift in third gear or fourth gear or fifth gear the higher the gear you go the better the car slides no matter what, every car has that in Forza, um, that's just the way it is. So if you want to have a 4 gear a little bit like you put it a little bit higher and here also. So the most important thing is what car do you take? Every car has also a different transi transition in drifting. What does that mean? The transition if you flip the car from left to right, always use your brake to do that so you do it way better and way faster. But as you can see, this car is really nice now for drifting. So let's go back to the drift zone. Now, what you can also change is, I'll show you the difference. So the car does very well in cruise drifting and in this drift zone. Now, let's say, uh, but I have a very long drift zone. What can you do? It's very simple. If you put the pressure high, you will slide way more and you have like almost no grip if you put it on zero you will also slide way more but you will have more grip so it basically depends what you want to do with the drift so, uh, drift car of drift tune um it, it just depends what you want to do the gearing is the same like i said um here the front what you also can do is if you put it like on this 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 even higher and this on zero for example you will see that the car goes really hard so let's go on the tires let's put it on 3.8 then the car is basically driving on ice there you go now i'll show you what the difference is you see it's like i already feel the car slides enormously long i'm still pressing my brake you see and I will have problems well it's still okay with this car but you see how much it slides now it's scary actually to do this rift on but that's a big difference in uh, the pressure of the car you see it's not easy you need to be careful because yeah it, it basically is your car is driving on ice and you will slide very long but this is also nice for a drift zone for example like uh i think where is it it's that long fast one that you need to do on the roads yeah for example like this one The setting now on the car is perfect for a long drift zone. So you need high speed here. And you will see, you see how easy the car keeps sliding. And the smoke, there you can see uh, the tires are very hard or they are flat. There you go. So that's basically it for all-wheel drive car, um, but just put it back on 2.2, that's more than enough to have a nice fun drifting. Uh, also, this one can be closer, but then you know the difference between the camber angles, um, the tires, 
and also the differential now if you put it on like 90% you will see that the car will instantly will not break out that's basically like a, a real wheel drive car you see I have a lot of problems now to actually handle it now you basically have a, a all wheel real wheel drive car But once again, every car is different in transition and also um, with the engine, the reaction of the car. But that's basically a little bit explanation about all wheel drive tuning. Now I'll quickly go to my real wheel drive. I don't want to have a too long video or make you fall asleep while you're watching. Now my other car is this one. As you can see, this is completely stock engine but i tuned it for real wheel drive now this is for the real drifters i know the real drifters always want to have uh, real wheel drive so as you can see you this is real wheel drive stock engine uh, i know people prefer stock engines with specific cars but Real wheel drive is not easy, especially if you're pretty new in the game and you do not know yet how to drift. Uh, let's take some roads where we can drift, for example, uh, this one. It's very easy to let the car do a 360 or, or spin out. Um, so let's have a look how the car reacts here and I will show you my settings. You see, I do not have much power because I do have uh, the stock engine. But as you can see, I don't need to put much effort to keep the car stable. I just need to come to steer. Yeah, I'm going up. Uh, I should have gone down, but that doesn't really matter. But you see that the car actually stays very stable in real wheel drive. I do not have to adjust a lot. I just need to come to steer the car a little bit. There you go. You, you see that the car is actually very easy to handle. So I will show you the settings of the car. Upgrades and tunes. So I have two tunes for that. I think I have the easy drifting. I think this is all wheel drive. Yeah, and this is a real wheel drive. Uh, people request always tunes from me, so I I will make tunes if you want the car or not. So here are the parts. As you can see, um, is a stock engine. You have loads of engines for this one, but I kept it to the stock one to keep the car original. Um, I didn't put much parts on it. Also here, the stock tires. Now let's have a look at the fine tuning. Now as you can see, the front tires always have to have grip, so they have a decent uh, pressure on it. The rear tires, that's what I explained before on the all-wheel drive, that also goes for the real-wheel drive. The gearing also, I changed a little bit, uh, but you can't do very much uh, because it's a stock engine, I don't have not have a lot of power. Here actually I did change the front camber and I kept these on 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, if, you, if I would make them, the camber more, um, more degrees, it will be a little bit harder to drift. On an all-wheel drive, no problem, but on a real-wheel drive, you will have problems. Here at the roll bars, also the same. Springs, same. Damping, same. Brakes, these are on 50 and 100. I kept that uh, normal because the car doesn't have high power. And here, this one is important. I have acceleration and deceleration both on 75. Why on 75? If you would put on 100%, you will go easily in a 360 with the car. And this will also hold it back a little bit. Well, I hope my explanation about tuning a drift car in all wheel drive and wheel wheel drive was a little bit helpful. Um, I really know that people have been asking it for a long time to actually do it. Um, I think, but 
I finally decided to do it. Now, if you have questions, you can do that in the comments. I always respond. I also have a Discord um, where I help the people out. No problems. You can always ask me questions um, for tuning. I also will make a video about how I tune my race cars uh, in specific classes or like roads, dirt and all that. So I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully it helps you build your drift tunes. And if not, just come to Discord, ask me and I will help you out. Thanks for watching and have a see you later. Bye bye.